What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProBJ and welcome back to reading your comments. This is actually the first time I'm doing it on this new channel, so it's going to be called reading your comments number one. We're going to start afresh on this new channel. It's been close to a year since I've done this. Um, and full disclosure, because people were getting a bit pissed off that I was showing their uh, names uh, during these comment videos. So from now on, all of the names are just going to be blurred, and that's how I'm going to have to roll with it. Okay, let's get into it. Where is this series? I don't know, man. I don't know where this series is. You always make my day. Thank you. Not really a question, but I'll take it. Grazie. How does your family feel about your channel? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I think I've been doing it for eight years now. Um, and at first they ha did not understand it at all. And I think even now there's still a little bit of trepidatious behavior towards what I do. Um, mainly because of the, the amount that I swear and the, um, <laughs> and kind of some of the games that I play and some of the content I make. Um, my family is still a little bit trepidatious and, uh, sometimes unaccepting of what I do. But for the most part, they're great. They love that I love doing it. They love that I have an avenue to talk about my thoughts and an avenue where I'm just having fun. And also the website. They're really big fans of the website and the stuff that I'm doing over there with the premium service. So there's aspects of it that they really like and other aspects that they're, they're not fans of. But um, they don't proactively watch my channel if that's what you're, you're getting at. Do you ever get tired of hugging fans? No, I love it. Um, I haven't been able to hug a lot of you because I haven't been out doing conventions a lot. Um, I kind of stopped doing that for a little bit uh, due to something that happened at one of the PAX events that I went to where it got a bit out of hand, a bit crazy, um, and it kind of scared me. So I didn't, I haven't done conventions for, for a year or so. I did one last year which was me kind of easing back into it. Uh, and thank you to the people that did show up to say hi to that. Um, that really meant a lot. But I might get back into it in the next year or two. It just depends on scheduling and it depends on whether I feel like I'm ready to kind of jump back into that. Um, we'll see. But hopefully I get to say hi to a bunch more of you. Do you want kids? Y you mean right now? Not right now. I'm good. I'm good. I'll hey. I'll give it a pass for now, but later on down the track, who knows, man? I mean, I'm 20, so I've still got a bit of time to think about it, but, um, I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind it. I babysit my nieces and nephews a lot, and whenever I'm with them, it's always, we just have fun, so, maybe. Are you going to make a reading your comments video? No. Who is your favorite comedian? I actually have two. I really love Bill Hicks, and I love uh, Bo Burnham, and the, there is a big reason for it, is that they're both very unconventional comedians, and I feel like they're both on the same side of a coin. They're very unconventional in the way that they approach stand-up, um, but they also bring a new flavor, a new essence to the art of stand-up, so I really do like them because of that but I also like people like um, uh, Steve Hofstadter if you've seen him on YouTube he's really fucking good but I also I didn't mind Adam Sandler's new stand-up special I'm gonna say it here stop the hate being like Adam Sandler ew but his new special on Netflix called 100% Fresh was actually pretty decent so I do like the traditional stand-up comics, like your Jimmy Carr's, your Adam Sandler's, all of those. But I do like those kind of obscure comedians as well, like your Bo Burnham's, your Bill Hicks, and people like that. So, uh... Basically all comedians, I think we narrowed it down to. <laughs> you like Frank Sinatra? I do. Do you like rock music or punk music? I can get behind it. Because Andy Black made a heavy cover of My Way, which is really good. I suggest you give it a listen. Oh, thank you for the recommendation. I will. I'm a, I'm a massive Sinatra fan. All of those old jazz and kind of 
uh, I don't know what you'd describe them as, jazz and those just orchestral, I guess you could call them, performances. I'm a big fan of those, like the 50s and 60s kind of thing, which is a reason as well, like, I love uh, Seth MacFarlane, who does Family Guy. You know, I do all the voices of Family Guy and shit, but I, um, I really like his albums as well because Seth MacFarlane's albums are a throwback to you know Frank Sinatra and um, uh, Nelson Riddles and all these really cool people that I have a lot of respect for even Amy Winehouse I really had a lot of respect for her because she had that vibe and she had that style that's very similar to these guys so I really love that genre of music. I will more than definitely check out that uh, cover that you suggested. So thank you. I appreciate that. Have you accidentally ever played the same game twice? I must have at this point. I must have. I, I remember uh, looking through the games that are on my hard drive at one point. I have an itchy eye, which is really bothering me. I remember looking through my games on the hard drive at one point. And I clicked on one and I was like, have I played this? And then I opened it up and like, it took me five minutes to figure out, yeah, you know what? I have played this. So there's incidences of that when I go to record something and I'm like, I feel like I've already played this. Um, have I ever played this same game twice? I m must have over the two channels over the last eight years. There's got to be some double up somewhere. Go and hunt for it if you like. You should try to do another hate comment video. I would love to. I mean, I don't like hate and I don't like promoting the hate a lot. But um, the truth of the matter is, I don't have enough hate comments to be able to justify doing another hate episode. Um, like 98% of my comments are just fucking awesome. And you guys are so nice to me, which is awesome. And then there's like that 2% where there's the hate comments, but I actually don't have enough hate comments to justify doing another episode. Um, but maybe somewhere down the line? This is not a prompt for you to write hate comments, by the way. No, stop it! Stop it with those co- Hey! Hey! No! I see you down there. No! Can you come back to The Sims 4 or possibly GTA 5? I've contemplated both of those series. Um, for those of you that don't remember, I did play a little bit of GTA 5 where I was just fucking around doing my own thing. And I played The Sims 4 where I created a YouTuber house. Where it was me, uh, I think it was Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, and someone else was in there, I think. I made, like, very shit models of, uh, each of those guys and myself, and just made this weird YouTuber house. Um, I enjoyed the series, I don't know whether I'll come back to them. It depends on whether you guys want to see them. Because there's not a lot of love towards those series anymore. So let me know in the comments of this video whether you'd like to see any of those series have a comeback. Or if there's any series at all that you'd like to see have a comeback, to be quite honest. Um, I always like to get your suggestions and your thoughts on the content. Because this is, this is a community. We all vibe on each other and that's how it should be. We should all be putting in suggestions to make the channel better. So any and all series that you'd like to see, any and all series that you'd like to see brought back, make sure you leave a comment below letting me know and I might bring it back. Will you be doing more voice acting in the future? A hundred percent. I I really like voice acting in video games. Um, I've been very lucky that uh, June Games, who I've partnered up with a lot um, over my voiceover stuff, have been an incredible game company to work for and with. So I've been really lucky with that. We actually do have a game, I don't know when it's coming out, called Hidden Protector. Um, you guys would have seen the trailer, uh, which I'll, I'll start playing a little bit of it here. But um, yeah, Hidden Protector is coming out soon. Um, there is a possible Batman sequel in the works uh, with me reprising as Joker. And that's all the questions I have from you guys. Thank you guys so much, as always, for leaving your questions. I appreciate them. Um, let's do more of these. Let's make this a thing again. Let's start it up again on this new channel. Uh, so comment below with your questions. Uh, let's do hashtag Popey comments for me to be able to find your questions. 
and I'll add them in the next video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already, guys, and sign up to become a premium content subscriber and get access to content not found here on the YouTube channel. That's popyjn.com. Link, as always, is in the description down below. But thank you, guys. Once again, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. Oh, you lost me a long, long time ago. Before the bruises began to show You lit the fire and I let it grow